Hello there, in this video I'm going to teach you how to control the lighting in Stable Diffusion. First of all, you're going to open your Stable Diffusion web UI. Launch it using your web UI user.path and wait for it to open. Once it's opened, uh, you're going to head over and generate a random image or an image that you want to control the lighting for. You can copy my steps folder or you can use your own. I set my sampling method to user A. For C, uh, it's just a random one. And the rest is basically the same. Just generate an image. And after that, you're just going to open control net, paste in a light map for your image. For me, this one matches my image the best. So after that, you're going to go all the way down, select your model to any brightness model. I'm going to be using diffusion PyTorch model. For your preprocessor, it's going to stay as none. For your control weight, it's very important that you lower this down to about 0 0.5. And for your starting control step, you're going to use 0 0.2. You can change these settings on your own, but this is the base you can start from if you don't know what you're doing. For your ending control step, you're going to set that to 0 0.7. Now these aren't fixed, you can change it according to your results. So if you want a stronger lighting effect, you can increase the control weight. And if you want lesser lighting effect, you can decrease it. So after you're done, you're going to fix the C. This is the most important part. So if you have a generation already, you're going to hit this button to fix C. So it doesn't just generate a new one. And then you're going to hit generate again. Now you can see it changed the lighting up. It did use my control net. But for some reason, it also changed up our base image. If you don't want it to change the base image, you should use a more detailed prompt. Because my prompt was like pretty random and you can generate a bunch of stuff with this one prompt. So if you don't want it to change your image while generating the control net, you can add an advanced prompt and a negative prompt. So it generates a specific thing each time. Otherwise, if you want to lower the lighting effect, you can decrease the control weight to around 0 0.3 and then hit generate again. Otherwise, that sums up the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.